Hey y'all, it's the full-time drama queen. Um, and I'm on here on YouTube for a different reason. Um, this is not your traditional drama talks or your dad and I how to. Today, I actually wanna talk about anxiety and hydro whatever the hell it's called it's called visceral i will leave that in the title description whatever it's fairly new for me so i'm i'm just trying to figure it all out as to what i'm taking and how it's affecting me the side effects um how it's how it makes me feel when i uh, for anxiety um, and how it's progressing, you know, in my treatment process. Um, I'm currently in therapy um, and I'm also um, actively working on everything that I struggle with. Um, I've been diagnosed with bipolar depression um, and that was in about 2018. Since then, I've had about two hospitalizations, um, each dealing with bipolar depression. Um, I actually did have an attempted suicide attempt um, last, well, in 2000, 2019, actually. Um, and that was crazy. So my my mental health journey has been a roller coaster, just to say that much. Um, but now I feel like I have a, a hold on to it. I'm taking Viralar, I'm taking lithium, and I'm now taking Vistrol, I believe it's called. Um, and I kind of just want to vlog a little bit about it and talk a little bit about it <clears throat> and educate a little pe people about it because I don't see too many um people talking about this medication nor do i see any women of color um or men of color talking about this medication as well so visceral is for anxiety and it's a excuse me it is a non-narcotic i believe which means that it's not an addictive substance um it is treat, used to treat anxiety um it helps relax you and take the edge off, but also help with the feelings of anxiety, if you know. Um, <clears throat> the reason I personally, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. The reason I personally started Vistral was because I was just having a lot of intrusive thoughts and a lot of feelings of anxiety just day in and day out. And I didn't want something like a Xanax, a Klonopin, an Ativan. I wanted something that I would not get addicted to, that would be an alternative for my vape pen, and pretty much just help me manage a little bit better. So what I have noticed about Vistral is that it makes me extremely tired, and the other people that I have seen reviews about Vistral have also said that they have been very, very tired as well. I'm reporting to you that I just took it about maybe 10 minutes ago and about an hour. I will be probably knocked out. I do have to wake up early, so I will probably be going to sleep shortly after this video because it is definitely a draining as medication when it comes to sleep. Sleep. I do feel very tired on it. Um, however, it does help with anxiety. It does slow down things and and make me feel like I can think a little clearer um the cognitive distortions that I that I struggle with I really feel like it's helped uh with that so yeah um again um this has been a fairly ooh a fairly new medication for me a new experience and I was very trepidatious about posting anything about my inner life. Um, 
but I feel like it could help someone out there that's also struggling, that is also a woman of color, a man of color, people of color, anybody that may be taking this medication that needs a different perspective. Um, one thing I someone did talk about was that they had like their heart they felt their heartbeat slow down and they felt very uncomfortable i have not personally experienced that i do although feel very very thirsty after taking this straw it makes me feel very very thirsty like a thirsty ass person so drink some water drink a lot and mind your business <laughs> but that's really it so so far so good so far i'm satisfied with everything um if this video was a help to you if you're new at this whole mental health journey please give this a thumbs up so other people can find out about this video and number two subscribe to my channel because i want to try and get monetized this year um i think this is the year to do it i'm trying to be very consistent and not let my fears get in the way because that's half the battle consistency do something every day that is beneficial for your mental health in your life um yeah so i am signing out the drama queen signing out if you have any questions um please leave them in the comments i will be more than help more than more than what am i trying to say I will be more than, bruh, I will be happy to help with any questions. <laughs> yes. So with that being said, I'm signing out. Have faith and strive for brilliance. Take care of your mental health. And if you need help, um, it's out there for you. Okay. And we will definitely check in a little bit later about my mental health journey, my therapist, and my psychiatrist. Because it's been a long, 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 long road. But overall, um, this straw, I would give it, um, I would give it an 8 or a 7.5. I'd give it a 7.5 because that tiredness, shit, you would think you're dead. And coming back to life. But you feel good. But you did. But you're alive. But you did. Yeah. That's the best way I can describe it. Because that sleep. I probably slept the first couple days that I took it. I slept like hours. For hours. Okay. Um. But I'm just grateful that number one. My insurance covered 100% of my medications. And I go through a pharmacy that um fights for my insurance so that i can get access to these medications to save my life and we will get into varlar very soon because that was a medication that personally saved my life and i did say i was signing out but i'm officially signing out this is the drama queen peace